Hello and welcome everybody, Adam the Silly Horse is here and this is Chicken Police. And we are here to do some investigations. So... No? Natasha tried to show us the painting. And that painting would have shown us the way. Wessler. Albert painted Natasha, so he met her on more than one occasion. Obviously. Which made Albert... ...fall in love with Natasha. Exactly. And on a fateful night, he killed his brother so he could take his place in secret and win Natasha's heart. Told you. Yes. So what happens now? The inevitable, Marty. We're going to the Wessler Mansion to confront Ibn with the facts. You mean Albert, right? Do you think she knew about it? Something stinks, Marty. The whole case seems too intricate. Hmm. Too many coincidences, right? Well, well, after ten years, you did learn something, didn't you? Nine. <laughs> You're right. Huh. What? You just laughed, Sonny. What? No, I... I... I snorted. <laughs> no, you laughed. Ah, just leave it, Marty. <laughs> I'll be telling this to my grandchicks. <laughs> All right, pal, that's Obviously. enough. <laughs> okay, okay. So, Albert fell madly in love with Natasha and decided to have her for himself. And his best chance was to trade places with Ibn Wessler. So that's why the torn out tongue. Yeah, Ibn couldn't squeal even if he wanted to. What a diabolical plan. More like insane. But why the messages then? Why the threats? Albert got what he wanted. He... I'm not a psychologist, Marty. But remember what the doctor told us. Albert has a seriously injured mind and a split personality. So the messages were written by one of his personalities, consumed by jealousy? Something like that, Marty. But we can only learn the whole truth. You're right. So, are we going or what? We're going, Marty, to finally finish what we started. You're right, Marty. It's time to wrap everything up. Yeah, exactly. Told you. That should be the mansion, Wexler mansion or something like that. How are we doing with stats? Questioning points, scenes visited. Wow. Like a third of the scenes are still ahead. That's interesting. Achievements, not much. I am not good at that. Codex entries found. Well, 
information found. Oh, that's good. Gallery entries unlocked. So. Okay. Well, I am not bad at this, but yeah, not good. At I this. see we're ready. You'll need a shotgun for this kind of deal, Marty. Maybe even that won't be enough. Nothing to fear while Bertha's here. <laughs> even less because you're here too with Mr. Sinclair, of course. Should I cry? Yeah. That would be nice for a change. Ah, Her Majesty Bertha II. My drumstick still hurts every time I see her. Be glad you're alive. Bertha rarely leaves witnesses. It's a little outdated, but I understand why you're so attached to it. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm one of your bad habits. Rest assured, Marty, you are. If we survive this, can we crack this open? I'd rather keep it for a really special occasion. <gasps> You're saying I'm not special enough? <laughs> I was joking. If we survive this, we'll drink it to the last drop. <laughs> now you're top. Do you think that'll be enough? Enough evidence. Not in the slightest. That's why we go unannounced. And with big guns. Exactly. I like this new sun. There is no new Sunny. Jeff. You think you'll need your fake badge? I never needed a badge, Marty. What a punchline. It's more like a kind of good luck charm. It reminds me of who I should be. And? Does it work? No, Marty. Not really. If our theory's correct, this photo will hurt more than a bullet. That's... Hey, Lewis. You weren't awake all night because of us, were you? I've never been this excited, Sonny. Seriously, it is a great honor to be part of the team. <laughs> what is it? You, Lewis. You don't stutter anymore. What? Just now, you you didn't stutter. Not even a little. Oh. I m m m must be exhausted. I it happens s s sometimes. And it's b b back. So, uh, thanks again, Lewis. You always get us out of trouble. He's too suspicious. Come on, boys. Don't even m m mention it. It is me who is grateful to be a part of an adventure of the ch ch chicken police. Maybe the last one, too. Hey, Sonny. Don't spoil his mood. He's so cute. <laughs> Pardon? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Wait, where can I go? Uh, weekend house. Hot dog. New stand, new boss place. Wow, I, I actually do not have places where I could go now. So that would mean that I should... Do you remember that case with the goat? Uh, which one? When that demented wolf devoured the kids of a young goat mother, and in revenge, she cut open his stomach and filled it with rocks. Oh. This was that shop. The goat mother was running it. They found the dead wolf. This? This one exactly? Good God! Yeah, before it was closed down, when there was still some life here. Not even that now. Just the void. Yeah. Spooky place, that's for sure. Still, I love to live here. Sonny, you're creepy. Please. This fog's almost impenetrable. Strange, but somehow this time I feel it's a good omen. Really? Uh, how? How come? I don't know. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel. Without the light. <laughs> oh, you're not getting ready to die, are you, old man? Why, haven't I told you yet? You're not funny. I never thought I'd ever look at this place and think of it as... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Who, me? What do you think? I never thought I'd ever look at this place and think of it as home. <laughs> Life's weird, isn't it? You mean when you shot me? You know I had my reasons, Sonny. Yeah. Have I ever... Uh, Apologize? I don't think so. Then let's leave it that way. <laughs> hey, I apologize for shooting you, Boss Bird. That's okay, Marty. It happens even to the best of friends. 
I'll remember what you've just said, and I'll never forget it. Yeah. Who, me? What do you think of me? Did you forget anything, Sonny? No, I just thought I'd take a look. Might be the last time I see it. You becoming sentimental? Who knows? Maybe... Oh, that's... Should I say it? I know, Sonny. I can still get out. But you won't. On the beak. Thanks, pal. Forget about it. I'd be bored to death otherwise. What was the last book you read, Sonny? Something by Herringway, if I remember correct. Wow, really? No. Oh. <laughs> what are you hiding in there, Sonny? You know, it's funny. I have no idea. I lost the key. You want me to open it for you? I got a method. Don't shoot my cabinet, Marty. Ah, okay. I guess everything's about selfish reasons in the end. Many heroes become heroes out of selfishness, Marty, but not all of them. There are many unsung heroes, too, who already knew that nobody was going to hear about their deeds. I hope you're not talking about us. No, Marty, we're not heroes. Ah, uh, yeah. We've done a lot of stupid things over the years, huh? More than we should have, that's for sure. Well, memories grow more beautiful. It's a miracle we didn't burn down the city. You see? We're getting better. What should I do here? You know, pulling the trigger was the toughest decision of my life. You mean when you shot me? Yeah. But it wasn't hard, because you thought you'd kill me. Not at all, Sonny. I knew you'd survive. I wanted it to be a permanent injury and hurt like clucking hell. But I knew that everything would change from then on. That something was gonna break between us? Yeah. And that I was never gonna be the same either. With that shot, I also gunned down who I was, you know? It really did hurt like hell. I know. I almost bled to death. Almost was the goal. And? Did you manage to forgive me since then? Well, what hurt me wasn't what you did. I mean, of course it did, but... What hurt the most was you not trusting me, that you didn't believe me. Not until you pulled the trigger. At that moment, I knew you were right. Ah, uh, cluck. Yeah, cluck. Ah, right, enough sentimental crap. We have an insane rat waiting to be put behind bars, and a woman you gotta get. What? Come on, Sonny. Even a blind bat can see it. Oh, well, cluck again. Yep. the new info or something or was that just the achievement can we go now to the place wait what what was that hold up no we still can't go to the place but what do i need to do you didn't have the chance to tell me what happened to your brother. He left Clawville, and I haven't talked to him since. Oh, I'm sorry. He had a brother? But I received an unexpected letter two weeks ago from the Sura province. Someone dropped it off at my door. Was it him? He wrote the letter, that's for sure. I could smell the jungle when I opened it. But whether he was the one who delivered it, I don't know. Have you tried to find him? He'll find me if he wants to, Sonny. I know he's not guilty, and that's enough. But he's still wanted in Clawville, right? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry for playing a part in all of this. I know, Sonny. The past is the past. You know, you've truly changed, Marty. You try to hide it, but you've changed. I feel like Thanks, I boss. missed out on Just, some sort uh, of a backstory Don't call me here. boss, okay? We're partners. I've also forgiven you, you know. I don't remember asking for it. I'm not mad anymore. Blow me, Sonny. 
Do you always have to have the last word? Of course not. I've also forgiven you. I... I'm blooming. Of course not. Hundred and nineteen days left, Marty, and I'm out of here. As soon as I get my discharge papers, I'm leaving for the wilderness on the first flight. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I envy you a little. Eh, it's not gonna be the real thing. Not on my own. Why don't you take Natasha with you? Huh. What are you even talking about? Come on, Sonny. Cut the act. When all of this is over... Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Very fun. <laughs> Funny, because it's true. When all of this is... You know, I thought about it multiple times that you might be Meredith H. Marble. We've met her on a number of occasions, Marty. Remember? Her real name is Susie. Maybe Susie's just an actress you hired. You've read too much of that cheap garbage, Marty. There's no conspiracy theory. Susie's just a money-hungry little dame who made a fortune off of us. That's all. Yeah, you're disappointing. I know. Huh. Maybe I am really... Buddy, you really need a secretary. I thought about it too, Marty, but I'm still searching for a lunatic who'd take the job. <laughs> I'm sure Lewis would do it. <laughs> I'd love to see him in a fancy little skirt. Moron. But at least you finally managed to remember his name. Really? Shit, I was trying to say it wrong. I've had enough stimulation. If only m Strange, if they weren't here any- I can't even recognize the city in daylight. Like a raving lunatic while asleep, right? It's like we're the- I think there's- f Well, I don't even know what to think. I wouldn't like to be in your place, Sonny. But this doesn't change the things that already happened, you know? Your memories remain the same. Easy to say, Marty, but... I feel like nothing's the same anymore. Even my fondest memories have been stolen from me. You mean she stole them? Yeah. Maybe you should look for her. You know, you could find her. You've got the connections. I could have done it already. Maybe I was too cowardly. Damn it. Maybe I should look for her one day, at least for my daughter's sake. I don't even remember. Role models exist, so... Th the blue side of the moon. So, you know him after all. Of course I know him. It's M.B. Davis, the greatest musician ever. But sometimes it's just fun to tease you, boss. I'd like to know how many times you did that to me. <laughs> you see? I can still surprise you even after ten years. You know it's just nine, don't you? Of course, I know. All the taste? Maybe you should go back to the nursery school. I know you're just clucking with me, but believe it or not, I've thought about it. And what's keeping you? Hmm. <laughs> I can't stand children. I can't talk to them, I can't drink a smoke with them, I just don't know what to do with them. Oh, yeah. That's quite a problem. If nothing else, I'm still keeping this picture. <sighs> I've also forgiven you. I... I'm not... Yeah, of course that's not. repeating the same conversation. I'm pretty, am I? I simply can't take my eyes off you. Good. What else can I do? I honestly don't know. Nautica. There's nothing here. Well, let's head back to the street and maybe... So, you're going now to confront Mr. W w w Wessler? We have no other choice, Lewis. We're gonna see it through to the end. We've already come this far. You're brave, gentlemen. I'm honestly imp Pressed. Well, the rabbit's on to something. This isn't about money. 
Not about courage or pride either. It's simply... Stubbornness? Mostly, yeah. Well, g -g 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 good luck, guys. Thanks, Lewis. We could use some luck, that's for sure. Well... Thanks, Lewis. Lewis became kind of part of the team in the end, didn't he? You mean Leopold? Ah, damn it. Did I mess that up again? No, I'm just joking. You said it right this time. Huh. Oh, now I can ask questions. I just realized. Ibn at the Tsar Club. Yes, Marty. Albert's been Ibn for a long time now. Do you remember what Natasha said about him? That he's been acting strange recently? Exactly. Like, he's not himself anymore. It was almost hitting us in the face, huh? Don't blame yes. yourself, Marty. We couldn't have figured that out just by ourselves. The whole story's too twisted for that. Well, it's how we make our living, Sonny. And I'm sure we'll have plenty more twisted cases to come. Who knows, Marty? It's not up to us. It's mostly not up to us, in fact. Yeah, right. Do you think the asylum was in on it? I mean, covering up Albert's disappearance? You know that reptiles give me the creeps. One of them even set fire to that ship. But oddly enough, <laughs> the doctor seemed honest to me. He seemed like a patient to me. Yeah. Seriously, I Definitely. thought everyone was crazy in that place. Yes. Yeah. Whoever fights monsters should see to it that in the process, he doesn't become a monster. Yeah. Are you still talking about the doctor? <laughs> Good question. So, what's the plan? We shove the letter in our theory in his face and see what happens? Something like that, Marty. I think our presence will be enough for the truth to come out. I really hope you're right, Boss Bird. We have no other choice. So I hope so, too. Do you think it's a love triangle? I mean, could Natasha love Albert as well? Good question, Marty. But I don't think so. When I first spoke to Natasha, she told me she loved Ibn in her own way. In her own way, huh? And could she love two rats in her own way? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe she even suspected the truth, but didn't dare admit it even to herself. Hmm. Now, finally, I got the new location. So, what do you think, now that it's clearer? I don't know, Marty, but I believe Natasha didn't mean to be bad. Not intentionally, at least. I'm not as sure of that as you are, boss. But we'll find that out pretty soon, I guess. I think Natasha was very much aware that wherever she goes, disaster follows her. But it's not her fault, and she can't do anything about it. There are people like that. Really? You don't say. Someone remarkably similar came to mind right now. You mean me, right? Of Who can even read minds? Maybe you're <laughs> right, Marty. Maybe you're right. Ah, uh, this... Too close, the two is too close to each other, which is annoying. Codex, what was the, what was the new information? Oh, I, I guess the place. Yeah, I should have figured it out sooner. Say, let's get done with this. The sun was shining, and all the ducks were in a row. I felt ready. The pieces of the grand puzzle were laid out on the table. I just needed to piece them all together. A revealing glance or a careless word, and I'd have the answer. I knew we were in the right place. I knew it was nearly over. Was Natasha really just a victim? Or did she know everything? 
Was she controlling the puppets from behind the curtain? Yeah, I have that feeling, well, but I am not know sure where to go, about that. Go straight ahead. What could possibly go wrong? Famous last words. Here I am, Natasha. I hope you're waiting for me. Furry gods. I knew he was rich, but wow. Half the city is in his hands, Marty, and half the Council of Twelve. I think we'll catch a big fish today. Don't count your chickens. <laughs> I'm sure Wessler's expecting us, and Natasha too, I hope. You hope? If I'm right, she could be our only chance of survival. Lovely prospects, huh? I've had worse. Really? One of Wessler's ancestors, maybe. Wessler's ancestors were poor cobblers. More likely, this represents what he thinks of himself. Probably. I wonder how chivalry is compatible with organized crime. Eben was planning to leave the underworld. When his twin brother tore out his tongue, poked out his eye, killed him, and took his place? Yeah. Must be some famous historical figure. How are you with history? Uh, not so good. Hmm. You know, I've always been fascinated by the Founding War. Especially the last great battle between the Alliance and the Swamp Clans. Don't believe the tales they tell about the war, Marty. There's nothing glorious or beautiful in it. Just endless suffering and misery. True. And a lot of money, of course. That too. Maybe one day, you'll get your own statue at the PD, boss. I can almost see it now. Not while Blood Boil's alive. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. Is this a mansion? Or a grand palace? Or a small city? Well, if it comes to hide and seek, Old Westler will have an advantage. A serious advantage. Quite the steed, isn't it? Seems nowadays, organized crime pays well in Clawville. <laughs> Are you surprised? The chicken police retired. Well, they say the team's back together again. Nah, that's impossible. Oh, yeah. It's true. What the hell is it? Water tower? Turret? A frickin' lighthouse? I think it's a monument to an enormous ego, Mark. Well, anyone who builds a tower this big must be trying to compensate for something. <laughs> or he just has too much dough. Hey, not so fast, chickens. Please excuse my partner. He didn't mean to be rude, it's just his uh, terrible habits, as you may already know. Ah, look what the cat dragged in. Funny, I don't recognize them. Well, maybe if they had some guns with them? Tommy guns? Oh, yeah. Now I remember. The two suckers in the luxury van you shot to pieces. Twice. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> what are you doing here, chickens? Would you like us to finish what we started? <laughs> We'd love to have fun with you boys, but we need to talk to your boss. And while we're at it, the lady of the house is also expecting us. Is that so? Yeah, that's so horny. In that case, I guess there's no reason for us to waste your precious time. Is that right, Gabriel? Oh, get the hell out of our sight while there are still feathers on your skin, chickens. Easy, pal. We're not even here anymore. Until next time, boys. This must lead to Wessler and Natasha's suite. Well, let's get the big guns out and kick the door down. No need for that, Marty. We'll wait until they invite us in, like real gentlemen. <laughs> then maybe we'll need the guns. 
But I hope it won't come to that. Oh, my trigger finger's itching, Sonny. Someone's gotta pay. Relax, Marty. Someone is gonna pay. Tonight. Yeah. Just don't let it be us. It's like the vegetation's trying to suffocate these beautiful walls. Maybe it will. Maybe in a hundred years, nothing will be here but plants. An endless, planet-sized jungle. That's quite a dark thought. Yeah, it is. Only the ice here. Oh, so I can go upstairs. This place sure. is incredible, but it kind of gives me the creeps. Because you know what lies behind the beauty. With Natasha, <gasps> too? I haven't decided yet. Yeah, half of the conversations are pointless just to fill out the time, really. And uh, that's a little bit uh, an, uh, annoying, but still, I have a weird fascination about them. Ah, what a pleasant surprise. Hello, Olivia. Sweetie. Get lost. Uh, what did you say, ma'am? Turn around and get the hell out of here now, if you want to make it out with feathers intact. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Don't worry about us. We know what we're doing. Martin! Huh? Don't you get it? You have to get out of here or you'll be in danger, and also her. Do you mean Natasha? Please calm down, miss. We have to talk to Mr. Wessler and Miss Katsenko. You really don't understand, do you? What do they not understand, Olivia? So, what is it exactly that our guests don't understand? I was trying to tell the detectives that Mr. Wessler's very tired and doesn't welcome guests this early. He gets rather irate if he's being disturbed at this hour. I'm sure Mr. Featherland and Mr. McChicken can wait here while Ibn refreshes himself. I'll entertain them until then. Thank you, Miss, uh, Kitsenko. Please, Sonny. I thought we've already discussed this. Call me Natasha. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> exactly. um, please, Natasha, can we talk to you in private? Martin? It's all right, Olivia. These gentlemen are my friends. Yes, Miss Katsenko. I tried to warn you. Thanks, Olivia? <sighs> the truth is, Ibn isn't really in a good shape today, gentlemen. He's rather furious. Are you sure this can't wait? You commissioned us, Natasha, and we barely escaped with our combs intact. So you know who left the threats? Oh, we know much more than that, Natasha. We even know where you used to work. We talked to Madame Zavas. Wild gods! Why didn't you tell us? Exactly. Do you think it's easy for a woman to talk about such things that she used to be an escort? Along with Molly? So you know. Yeah, I know, Natasha. I also know all of this was a trap. Believe me, I tried to handle things the least painfully I could. You weren't even supposed to know. A lot shouldn't have happened. Poor Deborah shouldn't have had to die. Dear sweet Deborah. Cold, stiff Deborah. Please don't say that. A price worth paying? You cannot think I had anything to do with that. You just cannot. I don't know, Natasha. Please, Sonny, tell me what is going on. You have to know, right? Please. Excuse me for making you wait, detectives. I'm mm -hmm. having a rough morning after a long night. Is that so? Our night was also kind of long. To put it mildly. I was just telling the gentlemen that you were exhausted, my dear, and they should come back another time. I'll escort them out. Oh, honey, no need for that. My door's always open to the legendary chicken police. Uh-huh. Please, come on in, guys. Let's not talk in my room. 
Then this way, please. You just stay here, my darling. I'm sure our conversation will bore you to death. Please, uh, go and refresh yourself or uh, tell Olivia to go make some coffee. Yes, dear. Whatever you like. Please, uh, follow me, gents. Lead on, Wessler. So long, sweetheart. Goodbye. I guess it's time to. Windows. Oh, nice painting. This painting, it's beautiful and rather provocative. Almost makes my comb stand up. I'm not surprised. But the corner is missing. You're right, Sonny. You're quite the observer. Well, yeah, this painting's unfortunately damaged. I don't know where the missing piece could be. You don't know? Well, if you're interested, we know exactly where it is. Really? Really. It's here with us. An insignificant little piece, isn't it? But there's an exciting cat scratch on it. More like a rat scratch, because it's a monogram. A.W. That's... Albert Wessler. He's a great painter. I don't know if you've heard of him. Enough! Out with it already. What are you trying to say? I have no time for your childish charades. Easy, Wessler. We'll get to that in a bit. Impressive bed. Looks cozy. Sure is better than a cell. That's right, Marty. I'm not sure I understand, gentlemen. We'll see about that. Ooh, there's a gun. Eh, yeah. would you like a drink? <coughs> this is a rather rare brandy. It lifts the spirits if I may be so, uh, poetic. Really? Tempting, but I need to keep a clear head, Mr. Wessler. Yeah, I've heard you don't despise a good vintage. And I've heard you don't despise murder, Wessler. By the way, you've heard right. But everything has its place and time. Drinks, guns, dead bodies, and the truth. Yeah, I see you're in a poetic mood as well. More like prophetic. And that's not a good sign. Yeah. Are you trying to intimidate me? No, that's not how we do business. We're gentlemen. I really hope so. Do you keep a revolver in your bedroom? Yeah, a bad habit. One who has a lot to lose has a lot to fear. I agree. Another book. It almost gives me the. I think there's nothing else. So, uh, let's get so uh, what do you want to know? I've heard you've been through a rather eventful few days. Oh, you have rather good informants. Yeah, that's true. I should tell you, I see and hear everything that happens in the city. And you, uh, you are exceptionally resilient. No offense. None taken. But tell me, are we gonna flatter each other for a long time, or are we finally done with the courting? Straight to the point. I like it. Yeah, so let's continue like that, shall we? 
What do you want? How dare you intrude upon me in my own house? Oh, forgive us. Our moral compass has been confused a little bit after someone tried to kill us several times in the last 48 hours. With fire, with machine guns, I could go on. And while we're at it, you could answer some of our questions. If you've nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. And then we'll just leave you alone. All right. I'll go along with your childish little game. I would have had a long and tedious day ahead of me anyway. So, can we start? With pleasure, Mr. Wessler. I have no idea what she sees in you, but Natasha's been seriously worried about you. Yeah, she, uh, really worries more than usual, but it's understandable. Those disgusting messages. Disgusting, all right. Do you know why that word exactly? Why did they write that specific word everywhere? Since, uh... Since, uh, you've been to the Nile, I guess you know the answer to your question. Didn't it bother you, Wessler? What Natasha used to do? Surely it must have upset you. Why? Did it upset you when you discovered your wife did the same thing? What did you just say? What did you think, chicken? That I didn't know? Yeah, don't make me laugh. I know about everyone who ever set foot in that place. I can even tell you who Molly's regulars were, if you're interested. You son of a bitch. Sonny, don't. <laughs> yes, detective? Not yet. You're right, Marty. It's not worth it. Uh, you're funny, so you know fake. that? About the painting. Yeah. My brother Albert made it. He's a great talent, but, uh, still, uh, he's a rather troubled individual. Such self-criticism. What did you say? My partner means that you and your brother are very much alike. Identical twins, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed. But, uh, what does that have to do with the painting? We'll get to that. Don't worry, Mr. Wessler. So Albert made the painting at your request, is that right? And the one that's in Natasha's room in the Tsar, too. Yeah, exactly. Is that a crime? No, it's not a crime in itself. This picture, it's rather strange, you know? Why do you think so? It's just me, Natasha, and my brother. The photo doesn't tell much in itself, yes. But if you already have the right information, suddenly it starts to talk. Really? He fell in love with her, didn't he? Who do you mean? Albert, of course. He fell in love with Natasha. All those sessions while he was painting the pictures. Were you there every time? You mean, uh, me? You. No, I mean, while Albert was painting, yeah, but I wasn't there all the time. Albert was there all along. And do you think he could have fallen in love with Natasha? That's why he escaped? What do you think happened to him? Who tore out his tongue? Eh, I have no idea. Did Natasha know about what happened to your brother? No, of course not. Do you love beautiful things, Wessler? I... eh... Why do you ask that? Yeah, of course. You were afraid of losing her, weren't you? To him. Stop. Enough. If you want to ask something, ask clearly. Don't play with me. You understand? We're just doing our job. Then do it clearly. And quickly. Yeah, I'm really starting to lose my patience. We visited Albert's cell and found something he seems to have uh, forgotten to take with him in his great hurry. That's a big mistake. A classic, even. What the hell are you babbling about? This is Albert Wessler's love letter to Natasha. More like a confession. In which he tells her he's capable of doing anything for her. Even the most horrible things. Yeah, this letter doesn't prove anything at all. Albert is mad. Insane. He's not a... normal. No one would believe his word, don't you understand? But they believe yours, right? 
Because you're not Albert Wessler. You're Hobart Ibn Wessler, aren't you? How good it feels to be in his skin. How dare you? Just tell him, Sonny. I'm getting tired of this. You're just a cheap fake, Albert. You couldn't follow in your brother's footsteps even if you wanted to. No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't get Natasha either. Am I right? What? What did you just say? She hates you, doesn't she? She doesn't know. She doesn't understand why. But she hates you. It's instinctive. Yeah, what do you know? What could you possibly know about suffering and loneliness and the darkness? What could you know about hate? A lot. Huh? Actually, a lot. Albert is an imposter. He's not who he says he is, and might not even know who he really is. I have to concentrate on this first, to soften him up, and to avoid us being shot in the gizzard, of course. I guess we die if I do the wrong What were you thinking, chance. Albert? How long did you think you could keep it up? Until the end of my life, if needs. <laughs> yeah, I cared about nothing except for her to love me. Not for who Ibn was, but for who I am. Why did you think that would happen? Everybody noticed the change. Yeah, I knew it would be hard, Santino. But I also knew animals see what they want to see. Eh, I didn't have to behave like Ibn. They only had to believe I'm him. Why did you decide to take your brother's place? Yeah, as you're curious. From the moment I laid eyes on Natasha for the first time. But I had to convince myself that this was the only way. You've never talked about your feelings for Natasha with your brother. Am I right? Are you insane? Yeah, Abel would have had me killed immediately. And no one would ever know. So instead, you've done the same thing, haven't you? What a comfortable excuse. Yep. Comfortable? Do you think all of this was just some kind of cruel game for me? I had to destroy the person I loved and respected the most. Cry me a river. Yeah, you know, there's only a thin, fragile membrane between love and hate. If anything touches it, it tears immediately. You've felt like this before, haven't you? Yeah, I can see it in your eyes. You can analyze me until the sun goes down, Wessler. But you won't get far with that. Yeah, evasive answer. So I'm right. Why did you have to mutilate Ibn? Why didn't you just kill him immediately? That's an interesting question, you see, but the, the answer is exceptionally simple. No matter how strange it is for you to understand, I loved my brother. Weird way of showing you love, Albert. You can't understand that. He was my everything, the only one who was close to me. Until I met Natasha. She took your brother's place pretty quickly, didn't she? There's not much room in your heart, as I see it. Yeah, you're understanding the situation, Detective, but you know, uh, very well it's not that simple. Ibn was my brother. I loved him despite all of his flaws and foul, petty lies. And that's why I couldn't kill him. Not immediately, you mean? Unfortunately, tearing out his tongue wasn't enough. Yeah, I must admit I've, uh, underestimated him. And poking out his eye? Oh, uh, that was just an accident, Mr. Featherland. <laughs> Just an accident? Uh -huh. You're a dirty, clucking son of a vermin, Albert. Please, uh, don't be vulgar, Sonny. It's too dangerous in your current situation, and doesn't even suit you. Oh.
So you feel you're two people at the same time, even now. Does he sound crazy? Maybe it is. But he lives inside me. Sometimes he's even stronger than Albert ever was. Do you think you can avoid the gas chamber with this, Albert? Eh, I don't have to avoid anything, Sonny. You and your friend, uh, will never leave this place. It's better if you start getting used to the thought. You're not the cold-blooded killer you'd like to think you are. Yeah, do you think so? Try me, detective. That was your plan. Take his place and live happily ever after. Why, isn't it good enough of a plan, Mr. Featherland? It was perfect, even in its imperfection. Which is? Ibn's ghost. His... his what? Uh, please don't take it literally, Mr. Chicken. I'm not talking about, uh, spirits. Mm. When Ibn died, I didn't just take his place, but also his role. He himself, uh, his essence, if you will. Yeah, though I guess that's, uh, too much for you to understand. So you mean Ibn's here with us even now? He was here all along. Don't you get it? I am Hobart Ibn Wessler. I must get serious, because looking at the gun in Wessler's trembling hand, I'm afraid I don't have much time. Albert is a cruel sight. When was the moment you decided to kill him, Albert? When I drew the last stroke on that fatal painting, Mr. Fitherland. When I glanced at it for the last time, and then at Detesha, who was shivering under the weight of my gaze. You simply fell in love with her? End of story? Not in the slightest, Mr. Fitherland. Love is, uh, just chemistry. What I felt was more than that. Everybody thinks that, Albert. But we all feel the same. We're just fools. No, Mr. Featherland. Not at all. At that moment, I knew what I was gonna do. I knew that the world was coming to an end if I didn't do it. It implodes on itself and ceases to exist. I couldn't let that happen. I couldn't. Let him have her, right? You simply wanted her for yourself. I wanted her for ourselves, Sonny. I was him by then. He just didn't know it yet. Turn the cruelty against him. You're just a cheap copy. You know that, right? You're just making your position worse by insulting me, Detective. I wasn't insulting you. I was saying out loud what we all know very well. Don't force my hand to pull the trigger ahead of time. There are many, many things you'd still like to know, wouldn't you? Why don't we get it over with, Wessler? Pull the trigger and let's finish this pathetic charade. You think I don't dare do it? If you love Natasha so much, how could you lie to her all along? We lie the most to those we truly love, Santino. Isn't that right? It shouldn't be that way. You mean your wife, don't you? See? That's how it goes. We lie because we don't want to cause even more hurt. What you did, Wessler, is nothing like Molly or me. What you did was out of simple selfishness and cowardice. Watch what you're spitting out that dirty beak of yours, Santino. I'm not afraid of you, Wessler. You'd better get that into your small little rat brain. Classic mistake, Mr. Featherland. I'm very close to breaking him. But if I'm too hard on him, I could quickly be signing my death warrant. It's time to dig a little bit deeper and uncover Wessler's wound. Natasha was kind to you, right? Too kind. Natasha was, uh, simply amazing, gentle, kind, lively, but still so, uh, distant. You're telling me. It's like she was from another world. 
A world where everything's full of charm and grace and everything's fragile and delicate. Uh, do you understand? I think I do, yes. I know Albert's touch would harm her. Albert is rough. Albert can't keep such a delicate thing in his arms. That's why you had to become Ibn, am I right? I didn't take Ibn's place, Mr. Featherland. I became one with him, can't you see? This is the only way I could comprehend and accept the miracle that was Natasha. Was? I... I think I've corrupted her. She's not that gentle and pure creature I painted on the canvas anymore. I ruined her. She became rotten under my hands. Maybe it's not too late, Albert. Tell her the truth and end this. No! You can't understand this. She can't either. I killed Ibn, but he also killed me. Can't you see? We're nothing without each other. You can't be two people at the same time, Albert. Nobody can bear the weight of the sins of two souls. Ibn loved her. I admired her. Ibn was crazy about her. I've been crazy for a long time. Ibn idolized her, and I hated her. And if there's anything more blind, more devoted, more extreme, and more true than love, it could only be hate, Mr. Featherland. It's an endlessly exciting, thrilling, and warm feeling. And infinitely red. Just like love. Yeah, if I didn't kill him and become one with him, Albert would have died, Mr. Featherland. And the threats? Which one of you was that? Albert or Ibn? Who wrote them? And which one of you killed Deborah? In my world, Ibn and I are inseparable. Just like love and hate are one and the same. And I hate Natasha so much that I could destroy myself along with her, just so she would die with me. Are you familiar with this feeling, Mr. Featherland? More than life itself. You see? We're not so different after all. You and I have nothing in common, Wessler. You know why? Why, Mr. Featherland? Because if I were in your shoes, I would have pulled the trigger a long time ago. Goodbye, Sonny. So long, Albert. Oh. Wow. That is actually horrible. Albert is an imposter. What were you th what? Yeah. You wanted to write. I couldn't involve anyone. You have to understand. So, you included yourself in the plan. Do you think it's funny, Santino? The position I'm in? Do you think. You wanted to rule over something, didn't you? Especially over Natasha. I wanted to rule my fate. My actions, my will, myself. And yeah. Then over everyone else, whoever did. Such selfless. Selflessness? No, Mr. Wessler, but it's not about mm. me. Yes. Have you ever thought that maybe you should have become a psychologist? Yeah, you won't be laughing for long, Santino. I... Did you ever believe that you... Did I ever... And also... I see a story. Does it make you... I would... I do... Yeah. What made you think... Because... Is it... No. I see you... Albert... Yeah. That was your... What? It... It... So you mean... He was here... When was the... When I... You... No. no... I wanted her for... What did you do? It jumped. Yeah. What is that? Albert did. What did you do? Albert killed her. It looked like an accident, but uh, Ibn knew it wasn't. But he never forgot who did. Ibn was real. And that? Both of them, son. When did you decide? Can I be honest? Until we found. D I didn't even know about you finding her until the phone call from the Nile. Then it all became clear. 
I understood I underestimated you. I had to remedy that mistake before it was too late. You remove anyone if they happen to cross your path, don't you? Without batting an eye. Ibn had always been like that. Albert the opposite. So don't think I wasn't struggling, but, uh, eventually, yeah. Courage won, every time. You mean fear. Yeah. What do you know about these concepts, Detective? You've spent your life chasing petty nobodies until you turned into one of them. I may be a nobody, Mr. Wessler, but at least I know who and what I am. I'm Santino Featherland. Tell me, can you still tell who you really are? Albert, Ibn, both of them, neither. Enough, Santino. Enough games. Ask your last question before I get tired of you and pull the trigger. I'm very close to breaking him. If you still have... Yeah. I don't see it that... Maybe so. So? Why don't you pull the... You've been a dead rooster for a long time. So dramatic. Maybe it's not... No! You can't be... Ibn love you. Yeah. And the three... My... More... Th you see? You and I... Why, Mr. Because if I... Your bro so long... <sighs> I mean, let's get this over a bit. That's an interesting twist. So, you heard everything. <laughs> I heard everything. I'm sorry I had to find out like this. And thank you. If it weren't for you... Yes, both of you would be dead, I know. But believe me, I still thought carefully before firing. About who to target? You know, I truly loved Ibn. But this man wasn't him. You felt it, didn't you? Maybe I even knew it. I don't know. But I still can't believe it. It won't be easy to process for any of us. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. And regarding Molly... The cops! But how? How do they know? I have no idea, Marty. Do not look at me. I did not call them. Olivia? Don't worry, Natasha. They won't lay a finger on you. I promise. Please, Sonny. You don't need to worry about me. I don't want to be rude, Sonny, but I'm more worried about us than her. Hello, boss. Hello, boys. Now, before you say anything, we can explain. No need for that, Santino. Monica already told me everything. Monica? Hey, boys. What were you thinking? That I would just let you get killed without saying goodbye? Thanks, Mon. Should we say we uh, owe you one? You know already, boys. Shoes are my weakness. Oh. Hey, mine too. Now, of all Black that's furry, we don't want to hear that. And boys? Uh, yes, boss? Don't believe you'll get away with it so easily. I want a report on my desk from both of you with all the details. Am I clear? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. It'll all make sense, believe us. Right after I figure out myself what the hell just happened. <laughs> what Marty's trying to tell you is that we had good reason to investigate outside the law. But we're sorry. What happened to you, Sonny? You're sorry? Did you hit your head? Why does everybody keep asking that? Why, indeed. <laughs> so, can we go now, boss? W without getting handcuffed? Don't give me ideas, Santino. <laughs> Thanks, boss. So, what happens now?
Thanks again, Mon. If not for you, those furheads would have put holes in us. No wonder, since you put holes in there, boss. Well, actually, that wasn't us. Then who was it? Natasha. Really? Hmm. I wouldn't have thought it of her. It's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> it was for us, too. Believe me. How did you know we were here? I always pay attention, Sonny. And because I know you like you are my own nestlings. No, I love it when you say pretty little things like that. Don't get used to it, Marty. Monica is probably the best woman in this series. <laughs> so, uh, what's your shoe size again, Mon? 35. 35, Sonny. I like high heels. And because there's two of you, two pairs will do for a start. <laughs> anything for you, darling. I don't want just anything, Marty. I want shoes. Yes, ma'am. That's such a cliche. See you at the PD? At the PD, Mon. Okay, that's all of it. What? Are you waiting for me to change my mind? Uh, no, sir. Then stop pecking around here. Yes, sir. How the hell did you find your way here, Tim? Always where the trouble is. Sometimes I think you're the criminal mastermind behind all the dark dealings in this city. <laughs> I wish. I wish too, because then we could legally throw you in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I love your sense of humor, Sonny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't joking. So, where did you get the scoop? Are you kidding me? The whole city's talking about you. You've left quite the mess behind. That, I admit. Well, it's a miracle that all of the city smear sheet journalists aren't here already. Oh, while we're at it, will you give me an exclusive interview? Clock off, Tim. Hey! But just one quote, guys. They say you've taken down the whole Wessler Empire. They say... I say you're full of shit, Tim. And you can quote me on that. <laughs> uh... So, what now? Where to next? I think I should mourn, right? You should. But I don't know what to feel anymore, Sonny. I understand, Natasha. You know, if you need anything... Oh, get a room, yes, you too. I know where to find you. See you around, sweetheart. Ma'am? Goodbye, detectives. And what about you, Sonny? I'll go home and sleep. Maybe for three days. I'll try to forget. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. If there's anything I can do. I'm not sorry, Natasha. It's better this way. We find out painful truths, but at least we see clearly now, don't we? Yes, I think you're right. Thank you. We thank you, Natasha. You saved our lives. But it was also me who endangered you in the first place, right? Well, I won't argue about that. Thank you. We think. But. Well, I won't. So, what else? Because I clearly cannot go anywhere from here. See you at the PD? At the. I don't know if I've ever seen Monica in daylight. This means she's real, not just the ghost of the police station. So, you can finally ask her out on a date. I didn't even hear that. Our little savior. Santino, you're doing that on purpose? No, sir. Never, sir. Then get the fuck out. Damn. I wouldn't have thought it, but I... Santino. No, sir. Then get... Okay, so I cannot talk to them anymore. Ah, uh, look what garbage the wind brought in. Good God, is this guy everywhere? Our faithful chronicler. I swear I'm gonna hang him someday. You called him here, didn't you? To witness our grand triumph or our fall. What? At no. this point, I wish the paranoid would old just bird. End. You called him here, didn't What? Just one quote, guys. I say you're full of shit. 
Okay, I cannot talk to the, the, those three anymore. Only Natasha is left. What will happen to her now? I don't know, Marty. I have no idea. Wanna talk to her in private, boss? No thanks, Marty. What can I even say? Thank you. We thank you, Natasha. You saved our lives. But it was also me who... Well, I won't argue. Okay, I cannot talk to them anything meaningful. Look at all these plants. It's like nature's claiming back what's hers. Yeah. Um, Strange how someone so rotten inside, like Wessler, can... Look at all these plants. Yeah. Strange how... Oh. Okay. Do you think she was part of it? I don't think so, Marty. She seemed entirely honest. Maybe she was... You may be right. Hey, Olivia. Marty? I just, uh, wanted to thank you. For what exactly? For trying to save us. I didn't do it only for you, believe me. I loved my job while I had it. Now my employee is dead, so I don't have a job anymore. I didn't even think of that. Of course you didn't. Can I do anything <laughs> to help? I think I'll manage. I always do. If there's anything at all... Thank you, Martin. Gentlemen. Gentlemen? <sighs> We're honestly very sorry it had to end like this. Yeah, this peacefully. For myself, I'm glad... Don't think we'll be behind bars for long chickens. Whistler may be dead, but his empire still won't crumble. Oh, look at that. He can talk. In complex sentences, too. Yeah, or something like that. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. The mongrel caught himself some big game. Now he can wag his tail. Yuck. You're a good boy, Bosco. Nice work. You know, folks, somebody's got to take care of the real police work while you're tearing up the city. Sorry for the <laughs> mess, Bosco, but you know us. Yeah, unfortunately, I do. How did you catch them? After the gunshot, I was sure these two would show up. They have a habit of doing that. They were already in cuffs before then, Sonny. We had the house surrounded. If you could have hung on, maybe nobody would have died. Hey, a second longer and it would have been us. <laughs> That's your story. Cluck you sideways, Bosco. Nice catch, Bosco. You can mount them on your wall as trophies. Yeah, I wish I could, Sonny. Nice catch. Yeah, I wish I... The catch of a lot. Listen, Marty. Does Laura know about, uh, you and her? That was before, Sonny. Laura and I were just getting to know each other. Olivia was only a couple of dates. You broke her heart, didn't you? I don't think she ever felt anything for me. Whatever you say, pal. Marty should talk to her. If there's any... Thank you, Martin. Nice catch, Bosco. Yeah, I wish you... Look who's here. What a surprise. Our biggest fans. What do you think? Should we give them our autographs? Please tell me there's gonna be a glorious shootout. If we're lucky, Marty. If we're lucky. Please tell me there's gonna be a... If we're lucky, Marty. I hope we'll meet again, gentlemen. So do I, Shakespeare. And uh, while you're sitting in your cell, you could teach your famous manners to your friend, too. Maybe I will, Mr. Featherland. I certainly hope so, pal. So long, guys. So long. Okay, I talked to these guys too, so... Can't do anything else here.
What could I even say? Thank you. We... But it was... Well, I won't... I... Oh. What about him? How the hell did he wind up here? I don't know, but it's suspicious. You think someone hired? Could be. What about him? I don't know. You think? Could be. You. What are you doing here? I was just driving around. You know. Trying to feed your grandpa. So? Was it a case? Were you, uh, maybe investigating us? What can I say, Sonny? Am I busted? Did someone hire you to follow us? I just had to keep an eye on you and not get involved. That's all. I admit there were a couple of crazy situations when it was hard not to. But you managed somehow, right? A professional's a professional, my friend. Yeah, thanks. So you won't tell us who hired you, whatever we do? Unfortunately, I can't, my friend. I made a promise. You and your promises. Some people still take them seriously. You're a real piece of guano, you know? Of course. I've learned everything from you, you old fart. I think I have an idea who hired you, Phil. Hey, stop it right there. I don't want to know who you think. Oh, are you afraid your reaction would give you away? Huh, <laughs> you wish, pal. Anyway, it's good to see you here, Hawkeye. I'm glad you made it out alive. It didn't take you much. Yeah, not much. Anyway, it's good to see you. I'm glad... Yeah. Maybe one day, you'll get your own statue of the PD, boss. I can almost see it now. Not while Blood Boil's alive. Oh, well, yeah, that... So, here they are, ladies and gentlemen. The chicken police, in the flesh. Damn it, Tim. Drop it and cluck off. Oh, no, boys. This time, you deserve it. What the cluck did you say, boss? Stand up straight and try to look like someone who's glad to be alive. Uh, yes, sir. We'll try. Ooh, attention, chicken police. Say cheese. Seems that I actually managed to finish the game. The following animal species were not included in this game. Uh, and why is that interesting? Of the game, all the species have been declared extinct according to the world. <sighs> yeah, that's a downer. Expecting me, weren't you? Oh. I wouldn't say that, but I'm not surprised. I just wanted to talk to you. About what exactly? You know very well. What do you think, Natasha? Why didn't she tell me? Because she loved you. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, she may have never left the place. Perhaps she'd still be there. Ah, sheep shit. We used to dream about falling in love with a nice man who comes and saves us someday. A knight in shining armor. You know, like, like in the fairy tales. And how did that work out for you? She fell in love with a good guy. I didn't. I envy her. I'm not that good guy, Natasha. But if it's any consolation, she could have found him. Maybe she's living with him right now. Somewhere on the other side of the world. Well, goodbye, Sonny. So long, sweetheart. Hey, Natasha, you have a light? I've been trying to smoke this sorry-ass cig all day. It's driving me crazy. Maybe you don't really need it. Hm. Maybe you're right.
Maybe. that the game ended now uh, just a few short words because this video will be much more over the one hour limit uh, overall I like the game for the 15 euros I paid for it it was well worth it what I didn't like were the controls and the uh, useless uh, dialogues. I mean, there were lots and lots of useless dialogues. I mean, I, I would say at least a uh, uh, third of it was like, uh, didn't really matter. So that was just like placeholder to make this game longer and longer. But I did like the storyline, even though some things uh, were foreshadowed pretty well. And I like the fact that I was actually wrong about Natasha, about Louise, and uh, who else? I don't know. But yeah, I thought that uh, Na uh, Natasha could be the mastermind in the beginning, then in the middle, when Lu uh, Louise was always, he always showed up, he had contacts and everything, then he was suspicious, but yeah. But when it turned out that uh, even Wessler had a twin brother, then it was like, okay, the twin brother took over, I mean, at that point uh, it was very clear, so, yeah, well, I guess it was a really nice game, so, I think that uh, I will leave it here, because there is not much else to do, I mean, this is the typical game where you play it through once, and then I don't really see a point to try it again, but who knows, anyway. Thank you for watching, uh, if you enjoyed this video then please like, share, subscribe, you know the drill. Have a wonderful day everybody, goodbye.